Let's talk now about standard scores. Standard scores are something you can use in a lot of different walks of life. Quite simply, it's when you're forced to compare apples and oranges, so to speak, two different sets of data with different means and different standard deviations. This is when you would convert both of those scores to a standard score. So here's an example. A manager wants to give a bonus to the employee who was above average on both customer rating and on quarter sales volume. But as you can see, customer rating scores, the mean is 13, and standard deviation is just a little over 7. And quarterly sales volume, the mean is 58,000, and the standard deviation is a little over 31,000. So we really can't compare these. It's not easy to see which is above the mean. What we can do, though, to help us is to convert these to standard scores. And the most common standard score is something called the Z-score. The Z-score is just the raw score minus the mean over the standard deviation. We have all this information. The raw scores are given to you, the means are given to you, the standard deviation is given to you. So we can convert each of these numbers to a Z-score and all these numbers to a Z-score. Now a Z has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So we can see instantly by the negatives, the negatives are all below the mean. If we just do a little color enhancement here and we just make the positives in red, we see that there are only two employees who should get the bonus because they're the only ones with both values above the mean. So those are z-scores. We'll be using those in the next section. Another version of a standardized score is a t-score. This has a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. We just use this to get rid of the negatives of the z-scores. Some people really have a problem with negatives. In order to calculate a t-score, you first have to calculate the z like we did above and then multiply the z by 10 and add 50. And if you see, you still see that the numbers over 50 here, Aparna and Gloria, are the only ones who should get the raise. Those are z-scores and t-scores, two of your most common standardized scores.